Um, Kate's here with us. Uh, young Daniel said he wasn't, <coughs> wasn't impressed with Spurs today. Um, what, what did you make of it? Um, I thought uh, we was a bit slow in the first half, but I thought we kicked in in the second half. And uh, yeah, I was. I don't care about how, whether anyone's impressed or not. I just want to get three points. However, at this stage of the season, it makes absolutely no difference to me how good we play. But I thought we were. <coughs> Um, it was nice to see that the wingers contributing, and yeah, I was, I was quite pleased with the uh, the outcome. Good goal from Van der Ven, who's an absolute beaut, and a good goal from Porro. So yeah, I, uh, I nothing to moan about. But what I come on for was to say that that how that's not red, I don't know. Um, we've been dead lucky to get away with it. I mean, Sky is saying it definitely isn't a red for me. If that was against our player, I would be screaming my head off exactly. because you cannot be aggressive and and strike another player, whether it was soft or not. You can't be smacking someone in the stomach. It's as easy as that. So I'm sorry, but if you say it ain't a red, you're being completely biased or completely deluded, I'm afraid, because it was a red. I still think we'd have won the game, not going to lie. Um but we never know. It's one of them things we never know. But um, I think we had a little stroke of luck there, which we need. Every now and again, you need a little bit, little bit of luck. So I'll take it. But mm. there's been some shocking decisions this weekend, by all accounts. So I, I don't know what the answer is. See, I, I, completely, more... I, 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 I completely agree with what you're saying. I think Spurs fans should take it and say, yep, yeah, we got lucky. Yeah. We, we move on. But I think it's, uh, it's the... The the, the the positioning like it isn't a red is crazy. It's like when everyone sees a slow-mo replay of the penalty Man United conceded. When you remove your bias and you look at it, it's like, oh my God, it wasn't a pen. You look at yeah. City not conceding a penalty yesterday. You watch it in real time and then in slow motion, you can't smash through the back of someone. We have to be consistent with, it, with our views here. No mm -hmm. different to last season when Jota studied... I want to say it was not wings. No, that's was, different. That's different. Well, you well, can't well, just... You, you can't just... Kick someone in the head and then just not get sent you off. Can't That's punch someone in the stomach yeah. either. It's the the Daniel, same thing. Daniel, Daniel, you say these things are different. I, but if, if you can't punch someone in the stomach. Daniel, hang on, Daniel, 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 Daniel. Let me just respond to what you've said. You're right. A, stu a stud showing that high and getting someone in the head is a straight red card. The fact it wasn't given, and as I said back then, is a travesty. Right. Let's just take the word punch away because Spurs fans are doing this lawyer bullshit about, or oh, we can't quite tell if it was a punch. <laughs> Let's just say strike. He struck him in the stomach. With uh, let's say it was an open hand. Slapping someone in the stomach is a straight red card. So for me, I just can't help but sit there and think to myself, we need to be consistent as fans. You've got to call it out when your team gets damaged. But ignoring it and trying to twist the laws of the game and pretend that it wasn't a red card because you benefited is crazy to me. We're never going to get consistency that way as football fans. And all we ever cry about is consistency. But then what you're doing, people like yourself, Dan, and there'll be millions more like it today that want Spurs to win. You're doing a disservice to football and you're protecting these fucking idiots that make decisions. It, you are, you're protecting them. And I'm telling you now as well, why Jamie, why, why Sky are defending James Madison, I'm going to say it bluntly, it's because he's English. I just I'm telling you that. now, it's because he, it, it, the English bias, yeah, certain also, players get it. Certain yes, players exactly. get this English bias from our media. When Bruno Fernandez or Romero, they would have been crucified. Oh, when 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 um Tony Adams was the England captain, the shit that man could get away with on the football pitch. John Terry, similar. Gerard. Shira kicked, kicked Lennon in the face. Shira, Terry, oh, Shira kicked and, Lennon. and it wasn't even about just getting away with it with the refs on the pitch. The way the pundits would defend them, you'd sit there and go, What the hell am I listening to? So oh, that's he didn't mean it. He's not that, he's not mean it. He's not that kind of person. He's absolutely crazy it. that it's being defended to me. I, I think what Kate said, bang on, caught, caught a bit of life there. Everyone knows it. Red, sorry, you were going to say something, Fares? No, I was just going to agree with Kate 100%. At, at this point of the season, there's like, what, seven games left. All that matters is the three points on the wall. Dan, just take it. Just, okay, you know what? If I was you, it was a red card. It, that's this. You won the game. You have seven games left. You're in a prime position to take fourth spot or fifth spot in the Champions League right now. Again, I'm a United fan. We are screwed. We we again this week. I'm happy with the tight end against Liverpool, but we lost points against Brentford. We lost points against against Chelsea, and that's that's what matters. Again, at the, at the end of the day, that's what matters. At the end, of the day. again, we we lost our points, and now 
How, how far are we fall from Tottenham? Like 12 points away? Austin Villa? 12 points, 11 mm-hmm. points away? I mean, we're not going to make it. Uh, we're still better yeah, than yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. I still think we're better than Chelsea. Don't get me wrong. Hey, Don. Uh, Enzo Fernandez. Oh, God. <laughs> so, the discussion. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, at this point of the season, take the three points, get the Champions League football. doesn't matter about style. No, but the, yeah. at the end of the day, you have, to, you have to talk about it because we're, like, as I said earlier, we're about to play. Look at the run of form we're about to go into. If you think we can have those little periods where we fall off against either Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, Newcastle, you're dumb. You, you, we can't have those moments against those teams. So you we have to talk you about it. We have to talk about it and address it. Did you watch you him on Watch Along, Dan? I said exactly that. Uh, if we look, the second half performance was there, but we're becoming second half FC. There was a stat exactly. in the last seven games. Spurs have scored one goal in the first go- uh, half and 12 yeah. goals in the second half. That's how lopsided our performances have been. If we play in that first half, how we did, how we, if we play in that first half, how we did today against Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, we're getting absolutely destroyed three or four nils across the board. It was exactly. that poor. We're not going to get these chances to come back in the second half against these type of teams. So I agree with Dan on that. Obviously not about the red card, but yeah, I, I just think even if we had got sent off, uh, that Madison had got sent off at one all, they were playing a much better football. We come into the second half. I thought we would have lost there today, but we take the three points. You take any result you can with obviously the, the the red card going in our favour today and you move on and we're in fourth and we put ourselves in a good position for not only European football, Champions League football, 11 points off at the top of the table, which at the start of the season, nobody gave us credit for or said we'd be even when near. Mm-hmm. So it's a decent start, but it's, it's a thing where Spurs have got to continue with this um, and move into next season on an upward trajectory. Otherwise, we'll just fall behind. But To uh, be it, fair, when we play the bigger teams, sorry, Alan, <clears throat> like Liverpool's, the ones that give us more, like come at us rather than sit in more of a block, we tend to play better. So you've mm-hmm. got to look at it from that perspective. But what I will say about Yates is... Yes, it was a red card, but Yates actually asked the ref to give him a red card, which is an immediate yellow card. So he would have been sent off as well. So it would have been 10 versus 10 had it gone the right way because he asked the ref for a card. And apparently, according to Sky, that is an immediate yellow card. He'd already been booked. How we stayed mm-hmm. on that pitch for the whole 90 minutes, I've no clue. Or however That's long another rule I don't agree with. But um, anyway, it is what it is. But I, I do think we do raise our game against the teams that come at us rather than the ones that sit in a block, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to the Arsenal game, as are you, Alan. So let's hope that we at well, least give them a good game. There's a curveball there, so I'm, <laughs> I'll talk about it later. I'll tell you, I will say this. Van der Ven's goal today was special. Yeah. Very, very special, that goal, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and it's not just his strike. It's not just his strike. Like, the play, the, right. like the team connection in general, the link-up, bro. Right. We're, like, the passes. The, that was Ange Ball. And Van der Ven today was like very good in general. I will say though, for the first goal, I think Van der Ven was at fault, partly. Uh, he like no, jumped. No, uh, for the first goal we conceded. He he jumped in completely. He shouldn't have uh, like Dan, dived it. Dan, in. Dan, the ball down the line, Adoji's been so sloppy and poor. He hasn't even he's been caught out of position and he hasn't even attempted to get back. Then Van der Ven, Romero, and Poro have had to come across to obviously counteract what's happened there. But Basuma has cut, dropped back at half pace, isn't even in the right position as a defensive midfielder to help out. And literally, it's just been a reaction from the poorness, for uh, like poor defensive um, uh, display from uh, Doji. And then obviously, Basuma not getting back and covering. So, yes, you can say Van der Ven, Romero and Porro not getting there quick enough are, you know, factors as well. But it started with a Doji, was compounded by a Basuma. Yeah. And then obviously the others can get part, but it's not just Van der Ven's fault for that goal today. No, no, yeah, I, that's why. That's why I said it was partly his fault. Like yeah, I just think that he dived in a little bit. He just dived in a little bit too much. Overall, though, I think his performance was amazing. Like, mm. Yeah, he's been good both of the season. Um, 